In this tutorial, we will show you basic setup, how to configure inputs, formatting media, setting up timecode, and getting ready for recording with the Sound Devices MixPre 6.2. First, remove the battery slot on the rear of the recorder and insert your SD card. On the right side of the recorder, you will find inputs 3 and 4, your headphone jack, and the rotary encoder. We'll be using these later. On the left side, you'll find inputs 1 and 2, as well as the timecode out port, some USB ports, and the power switch. Let's plug in an XLR cable, and we'll use the USB-C port to plug in our USB external battery. We found that the MixPre 6.2 will run for over 8 hours powered this way. Now, flip on the power switch, to the on position. The MixPre 6.2 is driven through a touch screen. Tap on the menu logo in the top right to go into the menu. Tap the word menu to go to the next page and select SD card. Select edit and press format to format the SD card. Tap the back button twice to head back to the main menu. Press the menu button again and select System. Then, scroll through to reach Date and Time. Check the date and time to make sure they're correct at the beginning of each shoot. Press the back button until you've returned to the main menu. Press menu twice to return to the second page. Select Record to set up your sample rate and bit depth. We send all our recorders out with a sample rate of 48 kilohertz and a bit depth of 32-bit float. Tap the back button to get back to the main menu. Select timecode and make sure TC mode is set to free run. Frame rate should match your camera. Usually that's 23.98 frames per second. Select set TC. Use the rotary encoder to set timecode to the current time of day. Timecode uses a 24-hour clock. This means 2.15 p.m. is 14.15. You can leave seconds and frames set to zero. Press the back button to return to the main menu and the home button to get to the home screen. Now that our recorder is set up, we are ready to configure inputs. Press the encoder for track one to hop into the track one menu. We want to make sure that each track we're using is armed. This will allow us to record an ISO of each track. Pan should be set to center, and input should be set to mic. Tap the two dots at the top. Make sure phantom power is set to 48 volt if you are using a condenser microphone. Otherwise, keep it turned off since phantom power will interfere with the output of our Sennheiser wireless receivers. Press the encoder again, or tap the home button to get back to the home screen. To see the meters for each track, tap the center of the screen. We know tracks 1 and 2 are armed to record since they're both highlighted in red. Turn the track 1 encoder until your meters are just reaching yellow and your peaks are at around negative 12. Repeat these steps for each track you are recording. Now that we have our levels, we are ready to record. Tap the record button to start recording. To stop recording, hit the stop button. Thanks for joining us. For more information, stop by the Womp House or visit our website to download the full MixPre 6.2 manual.